So now we're going to go through IV cannulation. So there will be three steps. First, I'll go through the equipment. Then I'll go through a step-by-step -step demo. And then I'll do a run-through demo. So let's go through the equipment for IV cannulation. You will need the cannula, ensuring it's the correct size. You will need the IV dressing for the cannula. You will need the water and the syringe, which will be used to flush the cannula. You will need a disposable tourniquet. You will need the swab to clean the skin. And you will need gauze as well. Once you've opened the cannula pack and the IV dressing pack and the syringe pack, you need to ensure that this is within a sterile field. Also, make sure you have a sharp spin near you. Right, so let's go through a step-by-step -step demo of how you would do IV cannulation. So initially, you would check consent and the other items that were mentioned in the initial video. Next, you will need to find a suitable vein, again, communicating with the patient as you go along. So I can see there are a few veins in the hand here that we can go for. It's good practice to check with the patient if there's anyone that they feel is suitable, if they've had a cannula before, check for any pain and anywhere where they don't want you to go. Once you're satisfied that you found a suitable vein, you talk to the patient as you're going along and you're going to apply the tourniquet. Again, talk through with the patient as you're going along and you're going to clean the vein that you're going for. Once the area's dry, you can then get your cannula from the sterile field and the cap is within the sterile field still that you would attach later here. Do not touch the needle and don't touch any part that can come into contact with the patient. So that also includes this end here. So there are different ways of holding the cannula. However you do hold it, just to ensure you don't touch the needle. Okay. Warn the patient that there's going to be a sharp scratch and you stabilize the vein that you're going to go into proximally, but don't de-sterilize the area you've just cleaned. Having done that, you just warn the patient as you're going along and you insert the cannula. Looking for a flashback as you do, and then you advance and insert, removing the needle as you do so behind. Once you are satisfied that you're inside, you press proximally to try and reduce blood from falling down. And you put some gauze to catch any blood that's going to come out. Remove the tourniquet. Stabilize the wing of the cannula and have your cap ready within the sterile field. Remove and then insert the cap. This is the IV dressing. And what you're going to do is attach these on either side. What you're going to do is attach the dressing like so. Make sure you don't throw this part of the sticker away because you're going to have to date it. Having done that, you're then going to draw up sterile saline into a sterile syringe and you're going to flush. Okay. Might feel a bit cold and you insert and it should go through without resistance, meaning you are in the vein. If there is resistance, then that would mean you're unlikely to be in the correct area, i.e. not in a vein and you would need to repeat the procedure. Once you're satisfied, you're incorrectly. Date, once you've written the date, you would place it 
next to the cannula. Once you've done the procedure, you would thank the patient, you would tidy up and you would document in the notes. So now we're going to do a run through as if this was an exam scenario. Hi Miss X, I'm Dr Tarafda. I've been asked to put a cannula in your hand, is that okay? It's just to give you your medications through the vein, is that okay? Can I just check, are you in any pain at the moment? Have you got any allergies? No, that's, that's good. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at your veins, is that okay? Let me know if you have any pain. So I can see there's a good vein here to put the cannula into. Is it okay if I go there? Do you have any particular veins in your arm that you don't want me to go into? That's great, thank you very much. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach the tourniquet. That just helps the veins come out so I can get a better view, is that okay? Again, just let me know if you have any pain anywhere. Okay. Yep, so I can see there's a good vein there. So what I'm going to do first is just give it a good clean. Okay. Okay. Good. So that looks dry to me now, Miss X. So this is what the cannula looks like, Miss X. You'll feel a sharp scratch as it goes in. But if you do have any problems, please do let me know. Okay. I'm just going to hold here so, so that your vein doesn't move. Okay, Sharp scratch and let me know if you have any pain. Fantastic, it looks like we're in. I can see the flashback. So I'm just gradually introducing the, the needle. Okay, are you okay, Miss X? Good. I'm just going to remove the torn, okay, okay? Just going to put some gauze here to stop any blood from coming out. Okay, I'm going to remove that now. I'm just putting the cap on. Let me know if you have any problems. There we go. I'm just going to put this dressing on now, okay? And that will just keep the cannula in place. Right, I'm just going to put this on. This is the, the big dressing. And hopefully the cannula shouldn't budge anymore. Okay. You okay, Miss X? Good. Okay. I'm just going to put some cold fluid. Don't worry, it's sterile. I'm going to put it into the cannula. You might feel some cold running up your arm. But that's good news because it means that we're in the correct place. Is that okay, Miss X? So it's good news, Miss X. We're in the right place, okay? I'm just going to attach this label with the date on, okay? There we go. So I'll just tidy up. But let me know if you have any pain or any problems, okay? Okay, Miss X, that's the procedure done. I'm just going to tidy everything away. If you do have any problems, please do let me know. I'm just going to write everything up in your notes of what we've done today.